All right, well, I'm still working with uh, Johnny Davro's Reverse Jewel Thief, um, and I went from a big transformer down to a little tiny one. And I tried all kinds of things, toroids and different kinds of transformers, and ended up with a uh, simple Radio Shack audio transformer gutted with no core in it. And uh, this worked, and I'm running it right now off of a hot rock. Uh, those two Felte modules in series against a cold, uh, chilled down... Uh, aluminum heat sink and uh, this is the circuit that I'm using right here um, it's just the two Feltes in series it's got an electrolytic cap across the rails um, 100 ohm resistor on the base the LED goes between the emitter and the base instead of the collector and the negative rail like on a normal jewel thief and then on the coils they're reversed from a normal jewel thief and that's why Johnny called this a reverse jewel thief is the primary is where the secondary is and vice versa this is actually running basically backwards and uh, there's the little transformer and there's the the package this comes in and I took the core out of this uh, it would not run with the core in it uh, there's the part number and there's how the wires wire up. And like I say, this this runs basically backwards, like the Jewel Ringer 2.0 that Peanut Butter and uh, Laser Saber and a whole bunch of us worked on. And Laser Saber actually had this uh, little transformer wired up in the Jewel Ringer 2.0 circuit, and I replicated that, and it does work that way. But I could not get it to work on this circuit without taking the core out. And that's the uh, size difference between the uh, microwave oven transformer and the uh, the little tiny transformer. Now I have a scope hooked up to it today so we can take a look at the waveform between the emitter and the base. Uh, Stefan wanted to take a look at that. And uh, it's kind of a square wave kind of looking thing. Um, the uh, peak to peak is 3.7 approximately. Uh, this is running at about 27 kilohertz. Uh, as this uh, goes down in voltage the frequency increases and that was another thing that was kind of interesting about the circuit is as the voltage uh, drops the frequency increases on this particular circuit so uh, that was rather interesting but uh, this rock idea the reason I'm showing that is uh, peanut butter had the idea of, the, of using the temper di temperature differential between say stream water running through a cooling element uh, cold stream water or well water versus something that was heated up by the sun and if you had dark rocks uh, somewhere that could be heated up by the sun you could get enough of a temperature differential between cold water and a stream say or well water and hot rocks and that's what I wanted to show here was uh, this is running like that now this particular little transformer cuts out at about a hundred millivolts. Uh, the microwave oven transformer would run down to 70 millivolts. Uh, they both require at least a milliamp to run. Uh, this is probably running at um, a lot more than that. Uh, this is an amperage versus voltage situation the way this is wired up here. So anyway I just want to share that with folks that uh, there are ways to make this uh, smaller um, and, and use uh, something natural basically to drive it with these felt A modules. Uh, this happened to be TECs, not TEGs, but um, I am getting away with it for this particular application. Thanks for watching.